Hey, in this video, you're going to learn about the each with index method, how to turn any other enumerable method like map, select, and inject to a with index version of that method. So you might be familiar with the regular each method. You can use each and go over an array like this and do something with each of the elements inside the array or hash or range, right? But sometimes you want the index. And what do I mean by index? The index as in the index inside the array. So as you probably know, the first element in an array is index zero, right? The next element is index one, the next element is index two, etc., etc. But usually when you use, you use the regular each method, you don't get access to that number, to the index. You only get the element itself, the current element. So you get apple, orange, almonds, in this case, in this, in the, with this array. But if we want the index for some reason, then there is this method, it's called each with index. And the way it works is just like the regular each method, but instead of one argument, so this will be one argument, you use two arguments. And the second argument is the index. You can use it like this. And if I run this, you can see it says apple is the food with index zero, orange is the food with index one, and almonds is the food with index two. So the index is coming from the second parameter and n is just the current item, the current element. So that's it with index. Very useful if you want to use it and also get the index. And this could be useful, for example, if you want to only print the, the strings that are in the even position, for example, or only print the elements that have an odd index or even index, right? Or things like that. There are algorithms that use this, that require to check if you're working with even or odd, or that depend on the current position. Now, what about map? What if instead of each, you want to use map? Well, let's see what happens. Let me remove that. And let's do foot map. How well, map with index? Does that exist? Well, it doesn't. As you can see, I get no method error, undefined method map with index. But don't worry because there is a solution, there is a solution to this. And it's a very small change, so pay attention. This map with index. I know if I change this underscore via dot, it doesn't look like it's much, but it's actually a big change because now this works. You see, I run this code and I, I don't get any errors. So what that means is that map is one method and index is another method, right? In the other case, this one method, this is two methods. So this works this way, so you can change, you can change, you can put them together one after the other, so you can combine them. And this could be select, this could be inject, this could be any other enumerable method that you want. It can be combined with, with index. And what happens is that now we get a second argument, an additional argument, which is the current index, and we can use it just like in here. So let's see an example of that. If I copy this and um, instead of a string, I'm going to do 
we can do maybe an array. We can do n comma index. And to print this, uh, I'm going to assign this into a variable with index equals that. And now I can print foods with index. And we can see right here the output. And that's the a new array because that's what you get with map. So that's the with index method and the each with index method. So remember this difference. This is small, but it's very important. And the difference is that this is two methods. This is one method, right? So you remember that. And that's it. That's how you get the index. You don't need a while loop to get the index. You can use these methods, the each with index and the with index with a, another enumerable. I hope you learned something new. And if you did, please click the like button for me so I know that you like this video. So keep learning, watch more of my videos, subscribe to the channel now if you haven't yet, and visit my website rubyguides.com. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next video.